Hello guys, good evening. Can everyone listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, I hear you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, well, guys, I understand. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. But I understand that in some parts of El Salvador, it's raining a lot. And uh, probably the whole country, in the whole country, is raining. New, but we are like in alert or something like that. I didn't know that. But I understand that probably some of your classmates are not going to connect today because, you know, when it's raining, internet doesn't work that well. So, but thank you so much for the ones that are here. So we are going to try to do our best to learn as much as we can today. And as usual, guys, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to the last topic that we saw. So I'm going to start by asking, asking you questions regarding to that. And then we are going to move on to today's topic. So on Friday, what we saw it was, still was part of the WH questions but we were more focused on how, right? So we kind of verified all the WH questions. And on Friday, we practically, what we did, it was just to, uh, to know how to do some things or how to ask some questions with how. So we saw like how far, how long, how much, how many, we also saw uh, how come, and uh, well, before we start, we are going to have not a practice, but it's going to be just random questions that I'm going to ask regarding to that. So just let me. Let me. And also, I was checking, guys, some of your, the practice that we did on Friday. It was really good. Actually, I, I verified that some of you did a really nice job. And some of you are very organized. Some of you got almost all the answers correctly. So congratulations to some of you. Uh, some others still have some niches on that. And we still have to work on some things. Uh, but never give up on what you on what we're doing, okay? So if you do not understand something, just ask or try to study by yourself at home. Or if you don't time, you don't have time to do so. Just you know, uh, ask any question to someone who knows, and probably that's going to help you out. So uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Uh, let me see. Okay, so let me type something on the chat, and I will need I will need everybody's answer to that. Let me see. Hey, if I uh, if I have a question like that, how long will the exam take? How would you answer that question? I need everyone's answer in the chat, please. We are 20, including me, so I will receive 19 answers, actually. Half time. Okay. Melvin, when you say a half time, what, what do you want to say? Un medio tiempo, is that what you're trying to say? Sorry, Melvin, we cannot, we cannot listen to you. There's a lot of interference there. Listen to what you said. Okay, I just got Melvin and Arabin's answer. What about the others? I got Ingrid already. I got media hora. Okay, 30 minutes then. Half time. We use half time when we are doing something and we say medio tiempo, but not, not, not in that case. It, it's take one hour. 
Ingrid, what are you trying to say when you say it's take one hour? I'll take a few minutes. Well, guys, I noticed that arriving in Ananoimi used the personal pronoun I. Why did you guys use the personal pronoun I? Ananoimi and arriving. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. I wanted to say it'll take. Oh, but okay. I I didn't type the T. All right. So what about you, Anna? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Creo que lo escribí mal. Yeah, there. Le puse creo que me había tomado. Yo me tomaré unos minutos. Pero no creo que está mal contratada la respuesta. Así que la razón porque no este es el pronombre que tenemos. Yeah, we we're talking about the exam. Yeah, we're talking about exam. We're not we're not talking about you. So in that case, it won't be that. Okay, thank you. Half an hour. Okay, the exam will take half an hour. Katya, what are you trying to say, Katya, when you say it's take one hour? What's that? What are you trying to say with that? Mm. Mm. Que me tomó una hora. Oh, I don't know, teacher. Que me cuesta un poquito ese temita. Okay, so in that case, me tomó. What is the past form of the verb take? Take, 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 took. Two. Two. It took me one hour. So in that case, it took me one hour if you want to say me tomo una hora. Okay, teacher. What about I cannot Thank see? Thank you. Aún no veo nada de Edith, nada de Ana Moraya, nada de Ceci de Hernández, nada de Alberto, nada de Carmen, nada de Adam Wilfredo, Joana Cristabel tampoco, nada de William, nada de Nidia. Me estoy dando mi teclado. ¿Podría ser maybe I'm talking at two hours? Say that again. Um, maybe a token at two hours. Uh, are you saying I or eat? Uh, eat? No, maybe at 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 the token. No, in that case, we cannot we cannot say that. But but that's a good try. A good try. It's it's. Has tratado at least to do something, okay? Okay. I think it'll take two hours, 10 minutes. Um, let me see. I don't know, um, are you are you guys sisters? Uh, Lopez, B. Andrea, and Lopez, B. Emily, Sofia, are you sisters? Uh, yes, it's sure. Ah, okay, yeah, because I can see that you both have like the same, like the same picture and the last names are pretty much the same. So I got confused. So I thought one person was connected with two accounts. That's why I was asking you. It took me two hours. Okay, thank you. Okay, Ceci, thank you so much for letting us know. And thanks for being uh, for being there, even though you're still uh, on your way home. Okay, so guys, today we're going to have a topic which it can be a little bit difficult for some of you. For some others, probably it won't. Uh, today, guys, we are going to we are going to see the simple past. I'm pretty sure that some of you already know what I'm talking about. So for some of you, it's not going to be difficult, but some for some others, probably it will. So just let me share the screen with you so you can have an idea what I'm talking about. And as you know, guys, in Simple Pass, we are going to try to study 
as many verbs as possible. Sí, vamos a tratar de estudiar tantos verbos como nos sean posibles. Let's see. Uh, let me do a test. Vamos a hacer una prueba ahorita. Ana Noemi, what is the past form of the verb speak? Say, say it again. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't listen to what you said. Okay, Nidia, I have a question. Do you have a question, Nidia? Um, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. What's your question? Uh, Nidia, are you still there? No. Uh, yes, teacher. Um, I'm sorry. Pero no entendí de qué estaban hablando al principio. Oh. No, 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 no. At the beginning, you can just check on the chat. We were just, well, I was asking just a question about the last topic that we saw, which was questions with how. So I just wrote a question on the chat and I asked everyone to give me one answer. So that's the reason why they were all talking about an exam, but it's not an exam, it's just, it was just a practice, let's say it like that. So don't worry about it. So, okay, uh, let's see, let's continue with Katya. Katya, what is the past form of the verb, um, let me see, of the verb, talk? Talk. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, what is the iris? What is the past form of the verb study? Star, study. Okay, thank you very much. Lopez, B, Emily, Sofia, what is the past form of the verb eat? Emily, Sofia, what is... Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, uh, I don't remember. Okay. William, what is the past form of the verb eat? Eight. Thank you very much. Carlos Regalado, what is the past form of the verb bring? If you know it, okay. If you don't know it, it's okay, okay? Just let me know. No. You don't know? Who? Oh. Bring. Say, say that again. Bring. Mm, no, no, I I said past form of the verb bring. Brought. Brought. Okay. Elmer. What is the past form of the verb? Um, let me see. Catch. Any idea? I don't remember, teacher. Okay, no, teacher. I don't remember. Coach, teacher. Coach, teacher. The verb catch. Coach. Out. Mm. I don't know what to say, the <laughs> pronunciation. Oh, I mean, oh, I, <laughs> you have an idea, but the pronunciation yes. is not correct. I am spelling C A U um, G T H T. Sorry. Exactly like that. Yeah. That's the way we spell it, but the pronunciation, no Melvin. We never say, we never say that. Never, ever. Never. We say it this way. Let me see. That's the way we say it, but never in that way. So, uh, as I said, we are going to try to practice a lot, guys. There's a lot of verbs that probably you do not know. So we're going to try to check that. But today we're going to focus in some general information about what is the simple past. So here we have an information and 
this, we have some of those. Oh, there we go. So I will need uh, two volunteers actually to help me read this part. If you want to participate, please raise your hand and say your name because I don't know. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Mike. Oh, that, we have a lot. So I guess I kind of recognize the first voice. I think it was arriving, wasn't it? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go, was let's, me. let's was go arriving me. and then we go with Katya. Okay, what is the simple past? When do we use the simple, ten, the simple past tense? We use the simple past to express the idea that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Now let's go, Katya. What are some common time expressions used with the past tense? Last year, last month, ago, yesterday. Thank you very much. Okay. As you can see there, obviously, when we say simple past, that's pretty obvious that we're talking about an action that started in the past and finished in the past. So it's an action that was there and we will no longer repeat it again because we did it and we finished it. Okay, so that's pretty much a uh, simple past. Of course, there's some expressions that are going to help you to figure it out when someone is speaking in past tense. For example, if you, if you are talking with an American and you do not understand that this person told you something in past, but you kind of recognize or you understand at the end of the phrase that this person told you, ago. When you say ago, automatically your minds recognize that this person was talking in simple past or last month, last year, and yesterday. Why? Because those are expressions that are obviously used in simple past and gives you some kind of reference uh, when someone was speaking in simple past. Okay, so let's move on with that. And let's try to have some examples here. And let me see, okay. We have some examples. I saw Maria yesterday. What is the infinitive or the present form of the verb so? See. See. See, last Friday, Roma, the students took their spelling vocabulary tests. What is the present form of the verb took? Take. 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 They got married two years ago. What is the present form of the verb got? Get. Get. That's, those verbs are really easy. So as you can see here, these actions are over and finished. Why? We have the expressions of time there, which are giving us the idea that we were talking about something in the past. It means that those actions already started and are already finished, okay? So let's move on. It's very important to understand, guys, that in English, we have two types of verbs in the past tense. We have regular verbs and irregular verbs, okay? So later on, we are going to kind of understand the difference between each other, but now we're just going to have a general idea or general information about that. Uh, just to give you an idea of what is that, we have, a, it says here, look at the list of the past tense verb, which verbs are regulars and which are irregulars. So, one tip for you. If you do not know which are regulars and which are not, that's very simple. The regular verbs are always going to end in ed. And irregular verbs would always have their own form in the past tense. What does it mean? That they will never end in ed. As you can see here, we have a list here. Let me see. Uh, let me see, Boris. Hello, Boris. Yes, teacher. 
Okay, Boris, let me listen to your pronunciation. Uh, read the list that we have here. Let me see. Okay. Thoughts. Okay. Walk. Mm -hmm. Studied. Gave. Came. Cried. Did. Did. Of all the verbs that we have here, I just heard that you pronounce correctly five of them. Then three of them were not pronounced correctly. Now, Cecilia Hernandez, let me listen to you, please. Okay. Uh, talk. Mm -hmm. Walk. Walk at. Okay. Studied. Okay. Gabe. Okay. Become. Okay. Right. Okay. Lip. Uh -huh. Dip. Okay, Cecilia, from all the verbs that we have here, you only pronounced three verbs correctly. The okay. Were not pronounced correctly. Maritza, let me listen to you, Maritza. Okay. Talk. Okay. Walk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we can say that out of the ones that we have here, you pronounce the majority of them were well pronounced. Let me see. Carlos Regalado, let me see. Town. Mm -hmm. Wild. Mm -hmm. Tool. Okay. The cow. Mm -hmm. Cry. Live. Deal. Thank you very much. Let me see. Uh, Andrea Mariel. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, Andrea. Um, thought, mm -hmm. walked, studied, gave, came, cried. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's okay. Just say it the way you think it is. Um, light and okay. big. Thank you very much. Now, let me see Ana Mayora. Talk, work, study, gave, became, cry, live, live. Thank you very much for those who participated. Now, listen to me, guys, and pay attention to the pronunciation. If you can practice the pronunciation at home and just try to pronunciate once I said it, then you say it at home is not necessary for you to turn your microphone on. Just repeat it at home, okay? This one, we don't say taut. No, 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 no. We don't say it in that way. We say taut, taut, okay? This one, we never pronounce the letter L. So we never say walk or walked. Never, never, ever. We say walked, walked. So we make a sound of the little, a little T at the end. So we say walked, walked, okay? Try to repeat at home. Then what happened with this one? We say studied, studied with sound of the letter D at the end, studied, okay? Gave, became, cried, with the sound of the letter D at the end, cried, cried, lived, lived, sound of letter D at the end. And of course, this one that is very easy, did. Katya, now let me listen to your pronunciation. Let's go. Yeah. So. Mm, Toad. 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 Taut. No, taut, no, taut. Taut. No, 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 no. You're telling me, me está diciendo una U ahí. Esa U no debería de... Okay. Taut. No, it's, it's like, es como que si lo escribieras T-O-T-O-T -T -T, y así lo pronuncias, tot. Say it again. Okay. 
studied. Okay. Gave. Okay. Became. Okay. Lived. Did. Okay, thank you very much. We we lost you for some for some moments because you're apparently you're having a bad connection there. So Anna Noemi, let's see. Okay. Seria taught what started. No, I, I, I will stop you there. Again, the first one. Okay. Taught. No, no. Esa U que me están diciendo ahí is not. Yes, no es taught. No. It's taught like T O T. Taught. Taught. Okay. Okay. What? Esa L, no. Walk. Walk, tampoco. Walk. No, but say. Ah. Continue. Okay. Started. No. Gave. Okay. Became. Okay. Cried. Okay. Lived. Okay. Did. Thank you very much. Now, okay. let me see a uh, volunteer, algún voluntario. Me, Iris. Me, Iris. Go ahead, Iris. Okay. Talk. Okay. Walk. Okay. Study. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Calm. Mm -hmm. um, great. Okay. Lead. Mm -hmm. Lead. Thank you, William. Yes, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Thought, okay. walk, studied, game, the game, cried, lived, did. Thank you. Thank you very much. Elba Carolina. Talk, walk, study, play, the song, cry, live, did. Thank you. Nidia. Told, mm -hmm. walk, started, uh -huh. gave, became, cried, lived, and did. Thank you. Guys, let me tell you. Estamos teniendo muchísimos problemas de pronunciación ahí. La gran mayoría me dijo taut o taut. No. Quitémonos esa U de ahí. Esa letra, esa pequeña U que suena ahí, no la tienen que decir. ¿Cómo la pronunciarían? Es como que tengamos T o T, así como está en el, en el chat. T o T. Oh, no, let me see. That was, that was directly to someone. And the second teacher, what is the pronunciation? Let me see. Correct. It's like that. Tot. So we say taught, walked. Hacemos el sonido de la K y al final hacemos una T. Walked, walked. So no pronunciamos la letra L. No decimos walk o walk. No, eso no existe. So walked, that's the way we say it. Then we go study it. Recuérdense olvidarnos de pronunciar esa letra E al inicio, solo el sonido de la S. Studied con sonido de D al final, D de dedo, ¿ok? Studied. Gave, esa, esa B que suene, gave. Became, cried, lived, did, ¿ok? So we're going to move on, okay? We're going to move on and later on, we're going to try to pronunciate them all, okay? So what I was saying here, guys, once again, is that regular verbs are going to be identified by the, the ending ED and the irregular verbs, they will have their own form in the past, okay? So now let's move on to the next part and let's see what we have. Now, we are going to see here, see, I have some others here. Now, let me see, arriving, let me listen to you arriving. 
First of all, read the present form and then read the past form. Okay. Walk, walked. Study, studied. Cry, cried. Live, lived. William, do the same thing. Walk, walked. Okay. Study, studied. Cry, cried. Live, lived. Mm. Thank you very much. Let me see, uh, Iris, can you do the same thing, please? Walk, walk at, study. Okay. I, study. I, will stop, I will stop you there, Iris. Do not pronounce the letter L. La letra L, por favor, no. Walk. Say it again. Walk. No, walk, no, es como una O. Es una O, literalmente. Walk, walk. Mm -hmm. Like that. Walk. Walk. Is no walk it. Is walked. Walked. Like. Walked. Okay. Walked. That's walked. Walk Study. Study. Uh huh. Cry. Cry. Live. Or live. Perdón. Live. Live. Thank you very much. And the last person. Can yeah. I volunteer? Me, teacher Boris. Okay, yeah. Boris. Go ahead, Boris. Walk, mm -hmm. walk, walk, study, study, okay, write, write, right, live, live. Thank you very much, Boris. Okay, guys, it's very important that we remember this. Esta es una de las un poco más complicadas, el verbo walk. ¿Por qué? Porque nosotros no estamos acostumbrados a hacer. Esos sonidos de una K y después una T. Es walked, walked. No estamos acostumbrados a eso y nuestra lengua como que no se corta, right? So, because in Spanish, we don't have those sounds. We speak Spanish like normal because it was our first language. So we have to try to study a little bit of uh, one of those so we can try to understand them all, okay? So, let's move on. Now we have the irregular what? birds. If we have what? some example of irregular birds. What? Let me see. As you can see here, it says that irregular birds are birds that don't end in ED. Why? Because they have their own form. I walked. It. Walked. Then me, uh, Cecilia, Cecilia Hernandez, can you please try to make the pronunciation of them? The simple form and then the past tense, please. Okay. Become, became. Okay. Eat, gave. Okay. Drive, um, drop. Drop. Forget, forgot. Forgot. Okay. Forgot. Okay. Now, become, became, give, gave, drive, drove, forget, forgot. That's very easy. Of course, there are some verbs which the pronunciation is going to be really easy. But there are some other verbs that if you do not pronounce them correctly, you won't be able to express yourself in English. That's the reason why we're always uh, pushing you or try to tell you to pronunciate correctly, okay? So the main thing about this is that you have to understand what or how are you going to identify regular verbs? How, uh, how are you going to do that? If someone asks you, hey, what's a regular verb? What would you guys say? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. So let, let let me try let me try to reformulate the question once again. The regular or the regular 
Uh, uh, son, si alguien les pregunta, ¿qué son los verbos regulares? ¿Qué dirían? In English. Uh, uh, yeah. In English, <laughs> of course. Not Peter, in are, are all those who, uh, which the writing form ends in ed? Simple as that. Thank you very much, Arabin. If someone asks you, what are regular verbs? You are going to say, oh, you know what? Regular verbs are those that end in ed. That's it. What if someone asks you about irregular verbs? What are you going to say? What are irregular verbs? There's no finish in ED. They don't finish in ED. So how are you going to identify them? Do they change? If I have it on the... on. Yes, they do, teacher. They do change, but with the difference that they have their own form in the past. So they, they obviously change, and some of them change drastically. Some others, just a letter, as you can see here. And these ones that we have here, what does it change? Just a vowel. Become, became. Give, gave. Just a vowel, actually. Drive, drove. Forget, forgot. It's just a vowel. Those are the easiest. But what about those who change drastically, the which we change drastically? That's so those are the ones that we have to uh, to try to study the most. Okay, so we are going to move on, guys. Is there any questions so far? Alguien tiene una pregunta, duda, arrepentimientos? All this, all <laughs> all doubts, dudas. Questions, preguntas, hable ahora o calle para siempre. ¿verdad? No questions at all. Ok. Vamos a ver, ojalá en el examen, ¿verdad? Ahí sí no voy a preguntar porque ahí yo no me voy a acordar. Se me olvida todo automáticamente. Ok. So we're going to move on and we're going to see... Examples actually about some, some others. We have here some others. So as you can see, these ones, they change drastically. They are not even the same thing, as you can see. Let me see, volunteer, voluntary. Hi, teacher. Okay, arrive and let's go. Teach, talk, bring, brought, leave, left. Hear, heard, by, bought. Okay, we just we just had one problem in, in the verb here. And I will tell you later on. Boris, I saw that you raised your hand too. Do you like to say or to, to participate too? Yes. Okay. Let's go, Boris. Teach, taught, bring, brought, leave, Left, hair, hair, by, boat. Okay, let me now make the pronunciation and you try to do it at home. Teach, taught, bring, brought, leave, left, hear, heard, by, bought. Once again, teach, taught, bring, brought, leave, left, hear, heard, by, bought. Okay, so we have Cecilia bought a new cell phone last weekend. That's the example that we have. Now, Iris, let me listen to your pronunciation, please. Teach, taught. Bring. Esa U, esa U, no. It's taught. Taught. Mm -hmm. Teach, taught. 
bring brought. Yes, no, brought. No. Brought. No. Brought. No. Brought. 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 No, esa, siempre hay una U que se te brought. Se escucha. Brought, like that. Así. Brought. Brought. Mm -hmm. brought. Live, left. Okay. Her. Her. This is here. Here, here her. Her. Oh, excellent. Okay. By boat. Boat. Maritza. Okay. Teach. Teach. Thought. Bring. Brought. Leave. Left. Here. Heard. By. Bought. Okay. So those are just example guys about uh, irregular verbs. And as you can see here, these ones automatically change in a very different way. They are not, they don't have, uh, of, of course they have some similarities when it comes to some letters, but when they are in this past form, they change drastically. And of course the pronunciation will change too. Is there any question right here? Or can I move on to the next part? Well, silence has more than thousand words, so I'm going to move on. So now it's very important that we get confused with the verb be. Why the verb be has, or then in the negative forms too, we are going to use auxiliaries. What is the auxiliary that we use? The auxiliary did, did not, or didn't, did not, or didn't. ¿Qué es lo que va a pasar cuando yo uso esto? El verbo ya no lo voy a poner en pasado porque automáticamente este auxiliar me lo pone en pasado. So yo pongo el verbo en su forma base. Si yo digo, I went to work yesterday, yo voy a decir, I didn't go, as you can see here, I didn't go to work yesterday because I was sick, okay? That's what you have to remember. If you ever make a sentence negative and you add the auxiliary did not or didn't, remember to put the verb in present or in the base form. Because if you don't do that, and, and if you say, I didn't went, that will be grammatically incorrect, okay? So pay attention to those details. So in the verb B, this is an exception. Why it is an exception? Because in the verb B, they do not use, ellos no utilizan el auxiliar did or didn't. Why? Because the verb be has its own form for the past. Tiene su propia forma del pasado. So we say wasn't or was not or weren't or were not. Okay? So be careful with that. Never, never, ever, please, never, ever add the auxiliary did or didn't to the verb be. Because that will be also a huge mistake. Okay, so um, that's gonna be all for, for, for this part, for the information about simple pass. If you guys have any question, let me see. And been, no Melvin, been es el pasado participio. No hemos llegado todavía, pero en este módulo lo vamos a ver. Ahorita estamos en el simple past. Pero el pasado participio del verbo to be is been. That's a fact. All right. If there's no questions or do you guys have any questions so far? No? Not at all? Sorry, teacher. Eh, lo último de been no le comprendí. No, no, no. That, that was just a... Melvin estaba haciendo una pregunta en el chat y estaba queriendo saber qué es been. Entonces yo le explico que es el pasado participio del verbo to be. Aún no hemos llegado a ese tema, pero en este módulo lo vamos a ver. Uh, ok. okay. <laughs> All right. So if there's no questions, we are going to go to the practice. 
Vamos a ir a la práctica. And now we have three conversations. So take a screenshot or take a picture of that because we are going to move on to the breakout room so we can work on this. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to move on to the next part. This is number two. And this is number three. Put the number two, teacher, again. Thank you. All right. So what we're going to do in number one is that you're going to take turns. Dependiendo cuánto sean, dos personas leen la primera, dos personas la segunda, and dos personas la tercera. So you take turns, okay? The main purpose of this is that everyone participates. Todos. Si de repente alguien no participa, ahí lo voy a estar viendo y vamos a tomar nota de eso, porque se supone todos deben participar. Ok, that's the reason why. Another teacher, teacher, put teacher, the number three, teacher. Number three. Let me just take a uh, picture. Number three. Yes. Una pregunta. Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre los dos tipos de compartirla? Oh, you, you cannot share. Thank you. No, este, este, el detalle está de que cuando como nos vamos a los, a los, a los grupos, no, no podemos compartir muchas veces las. Oh, no. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't know that it was only me the one allowed to do that, but now I gave you the permission already. So now I gave you the permission so you would be able to share the screens. Thank you very much for letting me know. So another thing, guys. Please, if you are talking, speak in English. The reason why we are here in this hour is to speak in English. He visto algunos por ahí que hablando español. No, we're here to speak English, okay? So if you're in practice, try to speak in English because I will be checking all of you, okay? So now I created the workout rooms. Please go ahead and join. Okay, for you guys, are you having any situation or is there any reason why you're not connecting to your group? Joaquin Ramirez and Adam Wilfredo, you there? Adam Wilfredo, are you there? Okay. Conversation one. El señor Liborio. Okay. Okay. You start. What did you do yesterday? Not, nothing much. I just started at home and in it, the house. Okay. Okay. 
I need someone that practice with me. Okay, um, well, I can see that it's only Sonia in this group. She's the only one who is speaking. What about Valentin, Carmen, Gabriela, Ana Mayora, Vidal? What's going on with you? You are not participating. Sí, pero no comienza. No nos ponemos de acuerdo. Okay, so try try to get things in order and try to start working because you just have nine minutes and you all need to participate. Um, the conversation three, the conversation three, partners. Let's be Emily and edit conversation three. Okay, I am the man. Uh, how was your day? Terrible. I was too, too busy. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, we were too busy at lunch. One person called in sick. So we were short the staffer. That's not good. How do you manage? The came in a helpful use. Okay. That. And the other activities. Yes. I guess uh, the write the bear for the past tense. Um. In the first, uh, what are idea? Is how was your day? Terrible. Creo que así se pronuncia. Terrible. I was Terrible. so good. Terrible. I was so busy. Beast. Oh, that's too bad. Beast. Ya me preguntó. Yes. Oh yeah. We were so busy is at lunch. One person called in sick. Okay. Conversation oh. three. Three. Uh, um, Hi. Uh, Ingrid. Hello. Yeah. Me. Okay. How was it your day? Terrible. I was so busy. Beast. Oh, that, oh, that's too bad. Yeah, we were so busy at lunch. One person called in sick, so we were short. That's no good. How did you manage? They came in and helped us. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Uh, uh, Cecilia? Sí. Uh, okay. uh, no lo veo hasta ahorita. But, yes. Sorry. Conmigo, si quieres, a mí. Miri. Um, the second exercise. Yes. Call. Uh, what's the meaning? What is it? We had long. Had it some shopping. Did you buy anything? No, I, I did. You went window shopping. I'm trying to save money. Me too. Conversation number three. How was your day? Terrible. I was 
so boss. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, we were so boss amongst one person, Kyler, inside Sui. Where a short stamp. Stamping. That's not good. How did you manage? How he come? Hand, hand, keeping post. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Otras dos parejas. Hello. Um, repetir, por favor, la, el significado de las palabras. Me ayuda. Ok, call is. Últimas. Call is llamar. Surprise is adivinar. Guess is. Ah, no, perdón. Surprise es sorprender. Ajá. Guess is adivinar. Arrive es llegar. Dance es bailar. Y play es jugar. Thank you. Are you finished? Elba, Emily, Edith. Elmer, yes. 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 yes, yes, memoria porque cada porque cada quien tiene su propia forma. No solo le puedes agregar la ed, pero estos sí están fáciles todos ed. Me pueden compartir esa, por favor esa. Lo que están discutiendo ahorita, por favor. Se la pasó. Gracias. Okay, guys, um, I was checking some of you there and some of you do not like to participate at all. So in some groups were very difficult to get to, uh, to get to your classmates, like to speak. It was, it was a little bit complicated there. So, I mean, remember that we are here because we want to practice, we want to learn and the, uh, the most you practice, the better your English will be. So that's up to you, okay? So now let me see, uh, Nidia Marroquin, help me with number one here. What's the answer for that? It's a cold. Cold, we say cold. Cold, sorry. Okay. Cold. Cecilia de Hernandez, number two. My, my mom surprised me my mom surprised me with a present with a present that's good thank you very much elba carolina number three my dear is my eyes okay let me see william number four You arrived late to class. Okay, Katya, five. Okay, teacher, my friends dance Mexican music. Mexican music. Thank you very much. Ana Noemi, the last one. My brothers played play my brothers played football. 
Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to stop there today, guys. That's going to be uh, pretty much all for today. Do not forget to keep working on the platform. Okay? By this week, according to the program that we have, you should be working. Let me see. Um, let me see, I got the information here. Just give me a moment so I will double check it. Okay, according to the program, and this week you should be working on section number three in the midterm. Yeah, section number three and the midterm exam. So, guys, please try to complete that by Friday, okay? Because remember, we have calibration and administration is going to be checking your results and your uh, progress. So thank you very much for the ones that are here in the, in the video call, even though I know it's raining in some parts of El Salvador. Thank you so much for being here. That's going to be all for today. Bye tomorrow. Bye, so, teacher. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.